One of the things I've never been good at in all the times that I've been making YouTube videos is making them on my smartphone. I don't know why, but I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be looking right now. Um, but I kind of figured making a bad video where I'm not actually looking at you is probably better than making no video at all, right? Especially, especially because it's been over a year since my last video and I owe explanations and I owe apologies. I owe an apology to all of you collectively um, for basically running away and abandoning you. I owe apologies to individuals who have reached out to me for help or needed me to do something or take care of something relating to this channel and my work. And I ignored you and I'm genuinely I feel that here in my heart and here in my gut I'm genuinely sorry for doing that it was a a shitty way to behave um, and I have no excuses I only have explanations um, and to explain all this properly I kind of need to go back to before I disappeared so in the last couple of months of making my YouTube channel videos on a regular basis I felt more and more pressure to say something new and I didn't know what that new thing was. I made so many videos dissecting this quit smoking thing from so many different angles that I kind of felt like I'd said everything I knew and everything I could possibly say to help people. And yeah, the quit smoking problem persisted. And you know, I, I'm not so conceited and arrogant to believe that I have the answer to everybody's quit smoking problem. But I did feel like I don't know what more I can say. Um, I kind of knew that, you know, the best way for me to deal with this would be to move into doing one-on-one -on -one support because one thing I did genuinely believe is that quitting smoking is a unique experience for every single person, depending on where they are at in their life and the circumstances and their health and well-being at that time. And I felt moving into, into that w was the right arena. And yet the only marketing or promotional tool I had to promote that service was a YouTube channel where I sort of built whatever reputation I had on being honest and upfront with you and not just doing this to make money. Yes, at the end of every video, I would promote my book because I was proud that I wrote a book and I want you to read it. But it was never about making money and it was never about, you know, just selling stuff. I, if I was going to make a video and say, hey, buy my book and if you want to work with me, I'll work with you one on one for a fee. Before that, I had to, for myself, give you something real, honest and helpful and I didn't feel like I had anything real, honest and helpful left to say. Um, you know, and I, I mean, one thing and I, I've said before is this YouTube channel was a happy accident. I it has never, ever been my goal at any point in my life to be a successful YouTuber. Um, I'm a writer. I've been a writer since I was old enough to pick up a pen. Since my early 20s, 80 or 90% of my income has come from writing. Yes, in various different degrees, but that's what I've done. And when I was trying to get my way out of my depression and turn my life around, I was writing articles about quitting smoking. I basically thought if I make some video diaries and embed them in the articles, it'll make the articles more engaging. But nobody on YouTube will actually seek out these videos and watch them. And then you all did. And something I said resonated with you and something I said made sense. And, you know, as accidental as it was and as much pressure as I felt at the time this happy accident of a YouTube channel has been the greatest thing, or at least one of the greatest things I've ever done in my entire life. And I'm so proud uh, of what I accomplished over the, the years that I was doing this regularly. Um, but I just reached a point, like I say, I just, I don't know what else to say to you. And 
you know, I was trying to figure out different ways to make content because I felt an obligation, but yet at the same time, this wonderful obligation of how lucky am I that I get to help people in this way because all I ever wanted to do and all I still want to do is to help people. But over the past year, I have not been in a position to help you because not just because of being, you know, running out of ideas, but because my entire, my, and I literally mean my entire life changed. Um, 2021, I met this beautiful, amazing, wonderful, talented, incredible, beautiful, smart, talented woman called Melissa. Um, he was perfect in every way, except for the fact that she lived thousands and thousands of miles away on another continent. Of course, love will always win. And now I also live on that other continent in her house. I'm currently in her art studio. Those are my guitars, though. Aren't they cool? Um, you know, I'm 4,000 miles away and I got married and now I have a stepdaughter and I've never had kids. So I didn't know how the hell to deal with that. Um and it's been the strangest thing, something that I still can't articulate, even to my wife, is how I can get up in the morning and look outside. We have a, we're surrounded by nature here. I can go outside into nature every single day and count my blessings and, you know, count them until I'm exhausted because I have so much to be grateful for. And it's, it's very hard for me to articulate how I can be so grateful and yet still be so stressed out and, and riddled with an anxiety that I have never experienced before in my entire life. Um, you know, they say moving house is the most stressful person, the most stressful thing a person can do. I moved house thousands of miles away at a pace that neither my wife or I really expected. Um, you know, I had to give up my therapy practice because of the immigration status. I couldn't really do any work. And um, that's been stressful. And also not practicing as a therapist made it very easy for me to get out of the habit of self-care and, and doing what is good for me. And I spiral and make bad decisions and gain weight and you know, there are times now that I look in the mirror and I feel very much like Dorian Gray looking into that portrait in the attic and just seeing the the consequences of, of, of not taking care of myself very well and not exercising and, and all that kind of thing. Um, you know, there's been... It's been hard adjusting to living in the United States. It's been hard adjusting to the idea of I worked so long to become a therapist so that I could help people. And for the time being, I can't do that. And, you know, focusing so much on legalizing everything here and and getting ourselves straight that... It's been, I've been so full of this maddening, maddening anxiety. One of the, the causes of it is, like I say, I, I've got so much good stuff in my life that I am genuinely happy for. And then suddenly struck with this overwhelming fear of, oh no, please don't take this away from me. You know, my life is as good as it's ever been and I don't want any of this to be taken away from me. And I've learned that one of the things that I do when I'm overly stressed and when I'm overly anxious is I bury my head in the sand and just pretend like shit is not happening. I'll deal with that later. Um, I'm, I'll ignore messages, I'll ignore emails, I'll ignore calls because I can't, I don't have the mental capacity to cope with what I have to cope with. And it's not like I never thought about this YouTube channel. I thought about it so much. Um, 
especially because you know, my wife, in the best possible sense, nagged the crap out of me about it. You know, my wife, Melissa, believes in me, even when I have zero belief in myself. You know, she'd say, Chris, you need to make videos because I know they're good for you. To, it's good for you to talk to people. You need to make videos to let people know that you're okay. You need to make videos because you can still help people. And she believes that I can still help people. And I'm gr so grateful to her. And I love her completely for that because I have not felt like I can help anyone. I haven't even felt like I can help myself over the past couple of months, let alone all of you. Um, and, and I hid away and I'm so sorry for that. Um, like I said, it's not, none of this is, a, is an excuse. It's just an explanation. Um, you know, and I've thought about this video so many times, as you can probably tell, I haven't rehearsed it. I have zero notes in front of me. It's just turning the camera on and trying to be honest and open with you because that's pretty much all I've ever had to give you is my honest experience, my, you know, my openness. You know, yes, I would do research and read reports and go, hey, I found this report about quitting smoking statistics and here's what we can learn from it. But at the end of the day, I'm just a bloke. I'm just some fucking dude who turns his camera on and tries to talk to you and things I say resonate. Uh, you know, and that blows my mind and I'm grateful that for every one of you who ever sent me a message, left me a comment, subscribed to this YouTube channel, connected with me on Finding Freedom, came to the live streams, bought my book. I'm so grateful to every one of you that saw something in me that quite often I didn't see in myself. Um, this last year has made me realize that as much work as I did on my self-esteem and confidence, I have so, so much more to do. Um, and I am going to start making videos again to basically unpack everything that's happened and unpack this journey towards getting my life back on track because I feel compelled and I feel drawn to do that. The last couple of weeks, I've been trying to take better care of myself. I get up early. I, you know, I do go through the morning routines that I've talked about, reading, journaling, listening to classical music, doing some exercise and feeling drawn towards, okay, it's time. It's time to get back to the Chris Scoils that that I know and I love. Because right now, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't have a lot of love for myself right now. Uh, and I, I really want to get that back because <laughs> this is hard to ex to explain probably, but I feel worthy of self-love. I don't feel capable of providing it. And I need to get back to a place where I'm, I can show myself the self-love and self-compassion and self-kindness that I know I deserve. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a terrible person. I'm a person who struggles with his mental health and struggles sometimes with smart decision making. You know, and I think if there's one message that is basically fundamental to every video that I've ever made, it's that our life is based on the decisions that we make and the consequences of those decisions. And I'm ready to make good decisions and I'm ready to share my decisions with you and share the consequences of those decisions with you and share what I've learned with you. But for the time being, for the time being, it can't be about quitting smoking because I'm not in a place mentally where I'm able to talk about that. I'm, I'm in a place mentally where I feel like I'm fighting for my sanity, as dramatic and over the top as that sounds. I'm in a place where I really need to focus on myself. Um, and I will focus on myself in public on YouTube. If that's what you want. You know, you may have given up on me by now. You may have moved on. You may have decided, you know, you may be looking at me. I've gained weight. I've grown my hair out. Um, you may be looking at this person and the person who used to make videos and go, oh, my God, Chris is like, is a disaster. I don't want to talk to him. But 
if you do want to stick around and, and see the next part of my journey, I will happily share it with you. And we will get back to, you know, the quit smoking problem. And maybe there's even stuff in the videos that I'm about to make where I will be unpacking my anxiety, my mental health and my life choices that will relate to quitting smoking because smoking and quitting smoking is is no different really than overcoming any other challenge it, it is and it isn't you know it's unique to every individual but the same principles of self-compassion and smart decision making apply across the board my stupid phone got out so yeah but i think i've 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 said everything I feel like I'm capable of of saying right now. I'm sorry for everything, for, for no longer making videos, for going completely AWOL. Like I said at the beginning, I'm sorry to all of you collectively and individually, those I owe apologies to. I will be reaching out to you and apologizing and trying my best to make amends. Um, I'm sorry to my wife that my mental health has been fucking garbage over the last couple of months as I try and adapt to an entirely new way of life. Um, and I'll be back and... And that's it. That's all. I, that's all I can say right now. I'm sorry, and I'll be back, and I'll try again. And, and I hope what I've said is some kind of explanation as to what the hell's been going on with me. It's just been a a, a long period of burnout and change and adjustment, and I've been trying to to get the capacity to cope and to love myself. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your love and support. And I'll talk to you again very, very soon, hopefully. Love you.